Okay, we're going to do an overview of using um, a type of autonomous recorder called an audio moth. This is the case. I'll show you what an audio moth looks like. These audio moths have already been programmed to record twice a day for an hour, one time at dawn and one time at dusk. Um, when you get them, they'll be in those waterproof cases. But if you open up the case, you'll see this. This is what the audio moth looks like. And some major features here are this little icon here shows you where the microphone on the audio moth is. Um, you have a, a USB port here where you can um, attach a cable to a computer and then you can use a small um, a, a program from audio moth to configure the audio moth, set the microphone settings, sort of setting the recording um, resolution and also the schedule. Okay, and that's already been done here. And then here is a little port for a micro SD card. That is where the recordings will be stored. And then important thing that you're gonna need to do before you deploy your audio moth is you're gonna need to move this switch. And so when the audio moth is turned off, it's in this USB off mode, which is the middle sort of position of this white switch. And then there's two other settings. There's the setting called custom, which is up right here and then the default. So if you switch your audio moth to default, it will just start recording. And so whatever the settings are for the re resolution, it will just record until you stop it recording or you um, turn the USB switch off. We're not gonna use the default mode for this, for, for most of the, in most cases, we're gonna use the custom mode because this has been scheduled to turn on and off at certain times. You'll flip the switch up to custom and you'll see um, a combination of flashing red and green lights to tell you that it's working and that the battery is operating properly. Um, right now, this one is doesn't have a schedule set on it, so it's actually starting to record, but yours will have a schedule set. And so you'll see some combination of red and green light flashing. You will then put your audio mouth into the case. And the major thing to pay attention to at this point is the position of your microphone. You want the position of your microphone to line up with this opening right here in the audio moth. Now this opening is protected so that water doesn't get into it, but it's more permeable than the rest of this plastic case. And so that way this case is not impeding the ability of the microphone to pick up sound. So that's really important to get a good quality recording. You're gonna to need to line up the microphone on here with the hole with this opening here. Okay, so I'm making sure that that's what's happening. I put it in the case, close up the case. It's got this latch right here. And then you're ready to deploy the audio moth. Find a location where you think you'll get some good bird sounds or you'll get some kind of sounds. And really, if, you're, if you don't know, the answer is you'll be able to get bird sounds if you put it in a quiet enough place. And um, the main feat factor to think about when I'm talking about quiet is um, constant human noise. So um, setting it near like an air conditioning unit or say there were a refrigerator or some sort of appliance outside that's running all the time um, around campus. There's, you know, sometimes the HVAC, the, the, the air filtering systems are running most of the time. So setting a moth near that kind of noise, machine noise that's going on all the time will really impact your ability to pick up um, animal sounds. So set it away from that kind of noise. You're not going to be able to escape in most circumstances, occasional car noise or aircraft noise, that's okay. Um, but you tend to want to move them away from this, that kind of constant noise. Um, also to consider, trying not to put it in a place where you're likely to pick up a, a lot of human speech, you know, near a place where people are talking a lot, much of the time. Um, you may occasionally hear human speech on a recording, um, and we want to try to avoid that if at all possible, for as, for as much as possible. A place in a forest where a person or a couple of people are walking by having a brief conversation, that's okay. We just want to make sure that we're eliminating those sounds from any recordings we would ever put out there. So, um, so put it in a good place, deploy it, let it go for several days. And when you bring, pick it back up from the field, you're going to want to um, turn that switch off, turn the audio moth off so it doesn't keep recording. 
And so you just do that by opening the latch, going back into the case, and then pulling your audio mouth out. Now, I will um, then turn this into the same orientation it was before. It's now set on custom. I'm going to turn it to USB off, and I'll show you what happens with the lights here. So when you switch it to that USB off mode, it will flash four times red and then turn off. And then you know, okay, it's no longer running. It's, it's turned off. And then now I'm saving battery and I'm not keeping, um, I'm not still doing recordings. And so then you just put it back in your case. I always, just out of habit, put it lined up where the microphone and the opening um, align. And then you'll be ready to um, do the next step, whatever that next step is gonna be.